It's fair to say that Space Engine has the most beautiful space environments out there on any platform, on any game, on any engine. Not content with limiting itself to a single star system or even to an entire galaxy, here you will be able to travel through hundreds of billions of individual galaxies, each containing trillions of worlds, stars, black holes and other stellar bodies. If you're a fan of space in any way whatsoever, you will find that there is a richness to Space Engine that will keep you exploring for hours at a time. The amazing thing here is that Space Engine allows you to seamlessly move throughout every part of its contents, whether that is the surface of a planet or into the accretion disk of a black hole or even skimming interstellar dust clouds. Now right here, I'm using Space Engine version 0.99, which as of this recording isn't quite fully available. But word is that it will be released very soon and it truly is the best version of the software so far. Of course, without a doubt, one of the most striking things here are the stunning graphics and during the course of this video I will take you on a tour of many beautiful sites. Space Engine though isn't just about pretty graphics. Nearly everything you see here is scientifically accurate and correctly modelled. Star systems and planets include full orbital mechanics which you can see in motion by using the inbuilt time-lapse feature and more on that in just a moment. The interface and UI is also extremely powerful and has a whole lot of flexibility. In fact, there's far too much to cover in just this video so do check my other Space Engine videos where I go into detail on how to search for specific types of planets such as Earth-like worlds or specific types of stars. Or have a look at another video which shows you how you can use Space Engine to recreate iconic NASA photos. Now talking of the user interface, things like the search functions are very handy. In fact, it's so powerful that you can filter planets not only by type, but also by atmospheric makeup, type of life and many other things besides. This then will allow you to find just about any scene or environment you could possibly imagine. But for me, it's the ability to manually fly through space which is the star of the software. You can control the camera with mouse and keyboard, use a gamepad, or if you have access to one, you can even use a throttle and stick along with rudder pedals. All of this comes in very handy, not just for smoothly flying around and moving in space, but also with Space Engine's ship simulation which allows you to, yep, you got it, fly a spaceship. Now with moving around, you have the ability to set your velocity and this can be anything from a few meters per second all the way up to many thousands of light years per second. And these extreme velocities are needed when you consider the size and scale of the environments. Galaxies are large enough on their own, but when you are traveling the millions of light years between galaxies, then you need suitable speeds to be able to achieve this all in a reasonable time. And in just the past few minutes, you have seen me travel through a galaxy then leave that galaxy, move through interstellar space, travel through and past many different star clusters, enter a smaller galaxy here and travel up to a planet, orbit it and now depart once again. And all of this is very, very easy to do. Ultimately, it's the sense of scale that this conveys which is really mind-blowing. It's something that allows you to truly explore our universe and what's more, Space Engine does support virtual reality so if you want to see these wonderful locations up close and personal, then you have the freedom to do that. But sticking with the sense of scale for the moment, what you're seeing on screen right now is a great way to demonstrate that. These dots, these orbs of light passing by are not mere space dust that's often used in games to convey a sense of motion. Nope, these are actually real stars. Each dot represents a fuller star system that you can approach and explore. Some of these will be lone stars, whilst others will contain full planetary systems. Space Engine has a number of ways for you to explore these star systems which are easily accessible via the UI. F2 for example brings up a star system browser which allows you to see the planets and other bodies within the system and you can then easily select these and use the G key to fly directly to them. Alternatively, F1 will bring up a full-on interactable star map. Now returning to the subject of the camera for the moment, you have a whole load of control over this. It allows you to film footage like this, alternatively film footage like this. Both of these by the way are the exact same location, the exact same planets. And this is achieved through the sheer variety that you have with the camera control. In fact, it's literally best to think of the camera as a genuine real world camera of the SLR variety. 
For more information on the camera, the UI and search functionality, do check out the videos linked in the video description. Now, recognizable locations are a big thing in Space Engine. We have Earth right there. Here we have the Horsehead Nebula. And in just a moment, we will head to the Eagle Nebula and the Pillars of Creation. You can see the Pillars of Creation right in the center there. And for anyone who's ever looked at any space photography, many of these will be instantly recognizable to you. Now, early on in the video, I did briefly mention time lapse, and this is one of my favorite functions within Space Engine. Using a simple key combination, you can accelerate time up by many thousand factors, or you can decelerate time or even reverse time. You have full control over the flow of time, and that allows you to create time lapses like the one on the screen right now. In fact, I'm going to stop talking and allow you to enjoy this in peace. Space Engine is available for free, and you can find the link in the video description.